It is possible to add one or more hand painted layers onto a procedural RGBAK master material with only a few steps. An RGBAK material allows for very high quality landscape texturing with computer algorithm extracted weight maps for high complexity and quick development time. RGBAK splat maps can be created in Terrasculptor in minutes for large landscapes that would otherwise take many hours to attempt to hand paint to anywhere near the same quality. RGBAK splat maps are also significantly higher detail and quality than auto materials. Adding one or more paint layers will allow for such things as painting walking paths or other fine details onto the RGBAK texturing in a non-destructive manner. This video has a lot of steps, but only a medium level of complexity, so follow along and pause the video as required. This video also assumes that you already have a functional landscape with an RGBAK master material applied to it. For information on creating weight maps, RGBAK splat maps, and master materials, see the videos linked at the end of this video or in the video description text below. Double click on the RGBAK master material that you want to add layer painting capabilities to. In the material editor, select and duplicate any existing RGBAK diffuse texture sampler node using Ctrl W, or copy and paste using Ctrl C and Ctrl V, and move it over to the right. Duplicate that texture node again two more times so that you have three texture sampler nodes for the paint layer. Modify the properties for the texture sampler nodes as follows. Name the diffuse texture sampler node as P diffuse texture and give it a group name of 6 paint. Name the normal texture sampler node as P normal texture and give it a group name of 6 paint. Name the specular texture sampler node as P specular texture and give it a group name of 6 paint. Assign a diffuse texture to the first texture sampler node, a normal texture to the second texture sampler node, and a specular texture to the third texture sampler node. Select and duplicate one of the RGBAK landscape layer coordinate nodes along with its constant and divide nodes. Move the nodes over to the same location as the paint layer texture sampler nodes. Connect the output of the divide node to the UV inputs on all three of the texture sampler nodes. Select all of the paint nodes and press C to add a comment and call it paint layer. Right click and add a landscape layer blend node. Click on the plus in the properties twice to add two array elements to the landscape layer blend. Expand the newly added array elements. Name the first item as RGBAK for the RGBAK layer and name the second item as paint for the paint layer. Set the blend type to LB weight blend for both array items. Set the RGBAK items preview weight value to 1.0 and the paint items preview weight to 0.0. Duplicate the landscape layer blend node two times. The three landscape layer blend nodes will be for the diffuse, normal, and specular textures. Connect the RGBAK diffuse output to the landscape layer blend node's RGBAK input. 
Connect the Paint Diffuse Texture Sampler output to the Landscape Layer Blend Nodes Paint input. Repeat this for the Normal and Specular sets. Connect the output of the Diffuse Landscape Layer Blend node to the Material Base Color input. Connect the output of the Normal Landscape Layer Blend node to the Material Normal input. Connect the output of the Specular Landscape Layer Blend node to the Material Specular input. The modified RGBAK Master Material should now look like this. Build the material and save it and close the dialog. The Unreal Editor might compile the shaders at this time. Now we will set up the landscape layers and proceed with painting. If you haven't already done so, create a folder under the Content Project Name folder called Landscape. This is where we will save all of the landscape related assets such as layer info and grass type objects. On the Main Editor toolbar, click on the Modes button and choose Landscape to go into Landscape Editing mode. On the Landscape Edit tab, select the Paint tab. You will now see the available paint layers in a graphical list. The list will include the RGBAK and paint layers that we previously created. If you don't see the paint layers, then build the map using the Build button on the toolbar and look again. We now have to create the layer info assets that contain the actual layer weight map textures. Click on the plus beside the RGBAK layer to create a layer info for this layer item. Choose Weight Blended Layer, which is the normal type. A Folder Browse dialog will pop up. Choose the Landscape folder under the Project folder. A new Landscape Layer object will appear in the Landscape folder called RGBAK Layer Info. Click on the plus beside the Paint layer to create a layer info for this layer item. Choose Weight Blended Layer, which is the normal type. A Folder Browse dialog will pop up. Choose the Landscape folder under the Project folder. A new Landscape Layer object will appear in the Landscape folder called Paint Layer Info. Click on the Save All button to save all of the assets. The Landscape Actor should now be filled with the RGBAK material setup. If not, then give it a minute to compile the shaders. To paint on the landscape with the paint layer, simply choose it in the Paint Target Layers list and start painting on the terrain. Adjust the Paint Tool Brush properties as desired for the size of the brush strokes. To remove the paint layer texture from the landscape, choose the RGBAK target layer and paint over top of the paint layer to remove it. This paint enabled RGBAK master material can be extended to include more paint layers if there is a need to paint more than one additional layer. Do keep in mind though that the number of layers and textures are limited in the engine and that the more layers and textures that you add, the greater the performance hit. 